Hi, I'm Chris. In this video, we are going to talk about sourcing. Sourcing has been made very difficult during the COVID, but now things are picking up. And this week, I had one of my best week ever. I managed to get this full basket of camera. So let's go through it together and I will show you some of the stuff I got and why I choose them and why, what are the things to, to check with them. I'll do all that after this. So I'm going to take the things in the order that they are in the basket, um, which roughly equal to reverse order in which I, I got them. Uh, that doesn't matter very much. What I want to show you is the thing I've got, uh, how I've checked them quickly, uh, what to look for and uh, where I expect to make my money, where I don't expect to make my money. So the first item is this disgusting bag. I'm not going even to... I'll show it to you. I'm not going even to put it on on my background because I don't want um, it to <laughs> get everything dirty. Uh, that's something I picked up on uh, this weekend on Saturday. I went to to pick it up. The, the lady offered the, the the bag, and at first I said, "Well, no, I'm not interested." And then I said, "I remember that you know sometimes you do interesting find in those bags, so." Take them. In this case, they are nothing interesting, nothing forgotten, no nice surprises. But hey, so what did I get? Here is the first thing, first thing I get. Actually, that's, those are uh, two items. She was clever enough to uh, sell everything separate, so she sold on its own this camera, the Nikon FA. Nikon FA, it's a successor of FE and FM. It's a very, very good uh, camera. It still has this distinct 80s uh, style. It dates from 84, uh, even if there is a bit of plastic now in it. But the good thing is also have um, quite good electronics in it, which means that it will take picture with always uh, very good exposure. It's a very, very good camera. Uh, what do you want to look for in those cameras? Well, the, one of the main issues with those is that inside the um, viewfinder there is a little, little uh, LCD display and those tend to leak. So check that, check that there is no leaking there. That, that display is to display the speed. Uh, you can see the speed on here, but it's always good to have the information uh, inside. It's, it it, it devalues them when the, the LCD is is working, it is not working. Uh, so, gosh, it doesn't want to open. What's happening to that? I had the same problem when I tested it and I managed to open it. Oh, well. So, so here is what you see when you, you open it, the shutter, you have to make sure the shutter is in good condition. You know, when you rearm, you can see both curtain and when you fire it, you want to see the light through it. I saw the light, I'm not sure with the camera, you, you were able to, but it works fine. Okay, uh, apart from that, it's in okay condition. It's got this little um, thing here. Those had to be removed if you want to put a, a, a motor drive on it. And often they are lost. It's always a good good thing for resale to, to have it like that. Really, uh, really sought after camera, really good camera, and this sell easily. With it come this lens that uh, I got for 50 euros. It's um, 15 millimeters, opening only at 3.5, which is not great, but it's excusable because it's a macro lens that does one-to-one. -one. Uh, so that is quite a, a good lens. It's in good condition. It maybe needs a bit of a clean on the bayonet here, but apart from that, it's in good condition. It's got an AI coupling, which is, which is good. Uh, definitely at 50 euros uh, I'm going to, to double my money that will be so basically I paid 150 for those two and I'm expecting 300 back and with it I bought from the same lady this lens 
um, this one I think it needs a, a good clean it's uh, it works it's in it's in okay condition I've paid 50 I think I should be able to say it for 100 as well uh, it's an AIS it's a perfect complement to the Nikon FR my guess is that those two were put together as a kit but um, zoom lenses like that they are long tail they are hard to sell okay so i'll expect to double my money but not quickly okay uh, here that is my camera i don't know what it's doing here <laughs> okay what else do i have here oh that is a beautiful lens that's a nikon 50 millimeters opening 1.4 that is uh, a very wide opening it's a it's a very good lens it's very sought after this one is in perfect condition apart from like one or two tiny scratches uh, i paid 50 for it i'm going to sell it for 120 140 easily i think i'm going to list it for 140 and see how it goes it's a beautiful beautiful lens i i love it it's the one i have on my on my camera and those those are really um, really sought after. It's uh, everyone wants those lenses. You can use them on digital camera. Uh, it's good. It's uh, this one is an AI coupling, which is good, perfect. And uh, that is something I bought through the post and from the same person. I bought this lens. Uh, I had many lenses like that was a past and i'll be honest with you uh, i've never been very lucky with those uh, well or more exactly i had a few nasty experience for some reason the, i put a few in a row that all had fungus inside this one uh, it's in absolute like mint condition it's uh, one of the early model because the zoom is going like that as um, basically you focus and you zoom with the same thing that, that was great before autofocus and the first autofocus they did they keep the same architecture uh, but nowadays people tend to favor two rings one for focusing one for zooming and it's true that those uh, this movement is is not as accurate as when you turn for for zooming but this lens 150 I, I'm, I'm going to ask 350 for it. It's worth it, especially that I mean all the accessories are here. Um, they, you could have them with uh, a nice case, hard case for transport. I have one of them somewhere. It is in not in very good condition, but the inside it's perfect. They often um, the fake leather around it just deteriorate with age. I will sell it with it, and it will help. And I'm going to list it for. 350 i think and see how it goes it's a beautiful beautiful lens i hope i'll have the opportunity to use it before i sell it uh, but it's it, it's it's fantastic this lens it's really really good and uh, 150 euros it's a steal that uh, is an interesting camera this is a uh, fuji s5 pro now if you are not familiar with it if you look like it it's, you say oh that, that must be like a a D200 or D300 Nikon and no it's a Fuji in fact what it is it's it is indeed a D300 but that's been modified by Fuji um, Fuji used to do like very specific sensor that were very good at having a large dynamic range so they could see at the same time they could see well in dark areas and in bright areas and um, that what uh, makes those so special instead of having uh, pixel on the sensors that are all the same size they have large pixels and they have small pixels the large pixels are to see in the dark and the small one to have details in brighter area and they make those from that sensor they do like very beautiful very beautiful picture they used to be favored by a wedding photographer at the time because of their ability to retain detail in bright area like the bride dress so that's for that it was it was used a lot um, nowadays 
cameras have evolved, they've got a better dynamic range and Fuji have stopped doing those sorts of, uh, of sensors. Uh, but there's still a market for them. Uh, this camera, I mean, look at it. It's in absolutely mint condition. I've checked the shutters, the 17,000 shutter actuation on this, which is nothing. Um, it's beautiful. I can't remember how much I've paid for it. Uh, I'm going to try to get 300 for it, and I, I don't, I can't imagine that I spend more than a half for it. But it is very a, a great camera. I'm going to have some fun with it before I list it. That's for sure. And the uh, Fuji, <laughs> this S5 came with that lens, a uh, Nikon 70-200 AF-D. That is an okay lens. It's it's good. You are, you have okay result with it. It's uh, well built. It, it's got a following, especially uh, if you have the D here. Usually on lenses, the D doesn't mean much. It just means that the lens will communicate the distance in focus to the flash. So it uses only if you have a compatible flash. But this particular model, it used to exist between before the D and then they move it to D. Done more changes to the camera than just that. Um, they are also made the autofocus much faster, so that is why. Look out for the D. They are worth more money. People are looking for for the D on, on those lenses. Uh, with the D, it's worth about 100, 110 if it's in good condition like this one. Without, we are looking at 70 euros more. Okay, so this one came with with the S5. What else? do I have? Oh yeah, this is uh, interesting if you want. Oh no, that's another one. Oh, this, yeah, this is interesting in another way. Uh, that's Nikon FM. It's in, it's in good condition, in very good condition for its age. Um, so it's a predecessor of the FA that we saw earlier. Those FM, they are really, really uh, search after that I will have no problem selling it for 120 uh, euros. I've paid 80 euros for the camera and the lens. The lens is a 50 millimeter opening only at 1.2 so that's a low level one. It's not really interesting. Uh, the camera was advertised as being sold with a 1.8 which is much more interesting than the two. Uh, it came with a two. I'm not very happy with that, but uh, I'm going to send it for sell it for 50 euros. I think, and rather than 20, I'm still like making 100 euros on on the route. But uh, if it had been a 1.8, I would have made 30 euros more. Oh well, no, no, not a big deal. I don't think the guy really uh, was trying to rip me off. He, he, he just didn't take enough care when he was listing it. What else? Oh, uh, yeah, here is the one that I uh, meant was interesting. Uh, that's a job lot that I've, I've paid 150 euros. Uh, the guy was obviously saying something. He didn't know what it, exactly what it was, and he didn't know if it worked. So I asked him to do a few tests. Um, and the, it's an FE, so it's got it's a camera with an electronic shutter. And what they tend to do is well what they do if, if the battery is dead when you take a picture like this okay it does that the, the, the mirror goes up and nothing else happened it, it's stuck um, but if you put it in m90 then the mirror go back down and they will work in m90 so i asked the guys to, to make sure that it was working like that and to check here when you press that level it will check the battery and if the battery is good, that will turn up, turn red. Okay, okay, and yeah, it's working now. Yeah, it's working. There, there, there is an issue with this camera because I've put new batteries. It, uh, it worked for a while, then it stopped. And now it's working again. I have to investigate more why, why it's going on and off. Uh, it's maybe there is a false contact in the battery area that could be as simple as that. I'm going to investigate before I list it because I don't want a return. Um, if it works fine, 90 euros, 100 euros, something like that for this camera. 
Uh, I've paid 150 for it. It came with a flash. It's a Nikon flash. If I get 20 euros, I'll be I'll be more than happy. I think I even will list it at 15. It's it's those sort of flashes don't are not worth much. That's another lens that was part of that 150 uh, euros purchase. Uh, everything I got. Oh yeah, that's a. Uh, That's a good lens. It's a um, 135 mm 2.8. That's a very beautiful portrait lens. Uh, it's got uh, sunshade included to it. Very, very nice. I'll show it to you because my other camera stopped working. Uh, it's an AI coupling here, which is good. You don't want the pre AI, which is more difficult to use. Uh, so that. A lens like that, I would say 130 euros, no problem, all day. And it comes with a little pouch, which is always a good thing. Uh, and that lot came also with that lens. Uh, that lens has an issue, it's a uh, 24 millimeters, 2.8. Very nice, very nice lens. It's, it's in beautiful condition, except, except that this part here, I don't know if you see, this part here, it's bent. Okay, so that is not uh, an issue at all because these things, it's always uh, something to protect the lens if you put your lens on, on the table. Uh, it must have fell like that. I'm going to try to put it back up it will still not be as new but that is i would say 150 euros all day long uh, with that issue so all that purchase of the lot was good even if the camera uh, is not working i wasn't sure whether the camera was working but at that price it doesn't matter much what else oh yeah that's uh, another flash nikon sb600 those are very, very good little flash and I've paid 40 euros for it. They used to sell second hand for like 110. They went down in price. I think I'm going maybe to sell it for 80 euros. I'll see how much I can get. But at 40 euros, I said, well, worst case scenario, I'll keep it for myself. You know, I can use it in conjunction with my other better flashes. Uh, that's a wonderful flash for the price. I've got a much, well, I've got uh, SB900, which was like the professional version of this one to be honest difference is not that much and uh, i might keep that one in the and sell the other one for more money I, i'll see strangely enough another of those fuji s pro camera this one it's an s2 it's an older version i've never had an s2 i had an s3 before and i guess the s2 is not any better those cameras do beautiful picture but they are very slow to operate it's madness it drives me crazy um but the funny thing is that's an early digital camera and it is in fact a nikon camera that has been modified like the s5 uh, s5 it's made from uh, nikon d200 this one is is made from a nikon f80 so it's basically it's a, an analog camera a film camera that's on which Fuji was adding a digital back and some electronic. Uh, funny thing, if you look at the mirror, the mirror is full frame, but the sensor is not. At that time, they were not doing sensor. So when you look through the, the viewfinder, you can see that uh, <laughs> they, they blacked out all the sides so that uh, it doesn't look too weird, but it does look weird. But uh, hey, I'll, I'll test it. Um, iPad. 80 euros for this camera which is i don't think i'm going to sell it for more than 80 euros to be honest but i'm not losing money because the reason why i bought this it's not for this camera it's for the lens that was with it okay the lens that came with it it's this one uh 2420 uh sf nikkor that Let's be honest, it's not a very good lens, okay? Uh, in the 2420 range, there are much better versions of that that were released later. 
Uh, I, I have one on my D4 uh, that costs second hand about 600 euros. Uh, this one, remember, I had it in the lot for 80 euros and I am going to sell it for 180. It will sell for 220, 250 if it's in very good condition. This one is in very good condition except from here. I don't know if you can see. There are some uh, damage. I'm going to put it in front of my face. There's it's been scratches like if like like if someone had put some writing and then they wanted to remove it. Uh, it, it it's a real pity, real real pity. But at the price I've paid, I, I don't think it will be an issue if I if I sell it cheap enough, like 180 euros. So that will uh, this lot will be a, a good a good money maker. I can't remember which lot they came with. Uh, I have two motor grip i haven't tested them i noticed that one the battery are oxidized anyway those are not sought after anymore uh, they used to be like in the 80s if you had that on your camera it was wow it was a big deal uh, nowadays if you want to you know digital cameras you can take as many pictures as you want people who use film they are more attached to the slowness of film so they want to do it manually and things like that that's not worth much and uh, and that's about it. Uh, what do I have left? Not much. A book on the S5 and the S3 Pro that I'm going to sell it with the S5. I um, don't think that's a, a very valuable book. And well, with the S5 as well came like, quite a few chargers. Strangely enough, two batteries, two chargers, which is always good. I'm going to keep one of the charger for me because those are the same for you that are used for lots of Nikon camera and sometimes you do get a camera without a charger so it's a good idea to keep it and um, and that's it that's it for that uh, that week haul. Oh, it's uh, now I have lots of <laughs> work to list everything uh, but I'm I'm happy uh, I'm happy I'm going to to make money, the most of what I found is things that will that should sell quickly as well. So I'm very very happy. If um, if I had one camera to pick, uh, I would say this one. FA. It's an excellent camera. Whether you're a photographer or a reseller, that's a good one. Uh, Nikon FM as well. It's it's a classic. Okay, and in terms of lens, my favorite lens of all that things is is this wide opening. It's not that long of a telephoto at 200, but it's it's a brilliant, brilliant uh, lens to do like portrait if you're far away, to uh, if you want to take like a picture of animals in the forest or things like that. Wonderful lens, a bit on the heavy side, but still great lens. Okay, that is all for today. I hope you you enjoyed it. I hope you it gave you uh, some information that you may need next time you you are sourcing and you find a camera. And um, I wish you to make lots of profit with cameras. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>